Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another type of dependency, the option available in the Angular 18 that is nothing but use factory. So we have learned about this use class, right? So now we will try to learn about this use factory. So use factory, what I want to tell you is it is a powerful provider function that allows you to dynamically create instances of services or tokens within your Angular application. So that means what if you want whenever you want to use this use factory then what you need to do it is so you need to provide a function so why we will be providing this function i will try to explain you for example let's say that here this is our console logger service right and for this console logger service and we are using the use class file logger service so what does this use class will do so it will provide you the instance of a particular service whatever the instance you want to refer to this console logger service whenever you are trying to use this component so that service instance will be provided to this one so in this scenario if you are trying to use this console logger service that is nothing but a token and here we are using and we are getting an uh, data that is nothing but file logger okay so now what i want to tell you is so here let's try to i will i will try to explain you so now here so if you try to use the console logger service let's say that if you try to use the console logger service now we will be getting an output that is nothing but console logger the output will be coming from the console logger so this statement it is nothing but one and the same of providing something like console logger service so this one and this one is one and the same only if i try to comment out this one then also i will be able to get the console logger service fine and if I try to provide this and if I try to comment out and if I try to make it available then also you will be able to see this, this one. but here what the use class will do so if you want to provide other than console logger service any other service instance if you want to provide it means then we will use the file logger service or anything so that the console logger service have an instance of the file logger service fine so here we are having a situation in a such a way that Based, uh, you, let's say that you have a condition or situation that depending on the condition or some logic or something logic you want to implement it depending on that logic the instance needs to be provided so then we will be using the use factory so here if you try to use this use factory let's try to i will try to show you if you try to check the providers so this one has a array of provider these providers will take an array of provider and in this provider if you try to check it it will take a class provider that is nothing but the use class and also the factory provider so what is this factory provider and if you try to check the type of this one and it will have a provide as usual that is nothing but a token typically an instance of a type or injection token but can be in b so this one and here the multi no, sorry the multi thing we will leave it and here we are having the factory sans provider and in this one we are using an use factory and this use factory requires a function so that means we need to provide a function so this one will take a function and if you have any dependence or anything means you can provide an array of dependencies so this one will try to check it so here this takes a function so let's try to go to here so that means so here what you need to do it is so that means use factory takes a function okay so i will provide a function here and what i will try to do i will return the new console logger service that's it so now we are providing okay there is no need to return this one so now here we are providing the console logger service and now we are able to see the same output so that means using this one and using this one is one and the same only so here if i try to comment out this one then also i will be able to get the same output okay so then where this use factor will be very much useful for us so this is very much useful for us when you are having a condition for example let's say that uh, let's say that you are having some service okay test dot service dot ts so this is a service file and this service file will have some condition so export class test service i am having some test service and this one will be a thread injectable Thread injectable. Let's import this injectable. It is not coming. Injectable. It should be imported from Angular Core. Yeah. 
and here I will be having provided in of root so now we are having a test service let's say that I am having some variable public um, status I will have a status and I will make it as a true let's say true so you can have a method or anything so just I am taking one variable it should it is having a status fine so now here what I want to do it is so here let's try to uh, remove this one let's try to comment out this one so based on that status so if the status is true means then I need to load the uh, console logger service if the status is false means then I need to load the file logger service so that means so whenever whenever you are dependent on any service so you need to provide it as an argument so okay test service of type test service so we are providing we are in uh, we are sending this one as an argument and now here you can write in such a way that test service dot status if it is there means then you need to load the console logger service or otherwise you need to load the file logger service that's it that's it finish so now if you try to check here so we are getting an error that cannot read properties of undefined reading status so that means this test service dot status it cannot able to return it uh, understand it so why it is happening this one is so this test service is a service so that means we need to inject the instance of this test service to into this factory thing so for this reason what we can do so then comes the dependencies thing so whenever you are having whenever you are trying to inject this one so here you can inject the test service that's it now if you try to see the output for this one see now we are able to see the console logger service based on the status here so if i try to make it as a false then you will be able to see that this one is returning in file logger service so depending on the status or depending on some other logic so we are able to determine which service needs to be injected so if you want you can also uh, take this entire thing okay and here you can use uh, here you can use in another file something like logger dot factory dot ts file and in this logger dot factory dot ts file so here you can use oh sorry export constant logger factory okay so which fact which one you want to do it so you can inject the console dot logger console logger service and test service we can inject it and here also you can inject the file service file logger service also that's it so now logger factory is there so now directly you can use this logger factory here directly you can use this logger server factory and you can inject this one that's it now if you try to see the output then also you'll be able to see the file logger service so now here this is the logger factory and you can have a some simple logic whatever the logic you want you can do it if you want to have a this uh, this entire thing means so you can also provide it in a separate thing so here uh, constant um, logger function is equal to you can use it like this and you can directly use this logger function here directly they like this also you can use it it is not any problem now then also you will be able to see the output so this function can be any function but it needs to return a service or a token so so that this service or a token you can able to use it in the providers so this is the main usage of this logger factory now sorry use factory so what we will be trying to do so this factory gives you a service or a token service instance of the service or token within your uh, angular application so if you want to return a service or instance of a service or a token means so depending on the condition so whatever the conditions you are having whatever the logic you are having if you want to perform some particular logic and you want to uh, send the particular instance of the service means then you can use this use factory pa uh, pa dependence injection pattern so that you can able to uh, get this correct fact uh, correct instance of the service to the component so hope you understood about this concept of this use factory if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you